Ladies and gentlemen, I made it. I made the first prototype of a language learning game. In this case, um, it's not really a language learning game, it's a language learning game mode for a game, which is in this case uh, Oscillator. Oscillator being, um, being an open source game, you know, uh, that's, that, that's in development right now. Uh, I saw this, I was like, okay, I gotta integrate this in with language learning somehow, because god, I'm studying languages. Okay, I'm a programmer, I want to solve problems, why not just give it a go? Why not just fucking try this out? And, um, yeah, this is w this is the first prototype that I um, speed run in like one week, to see how much I can, if this is even possible. Okay, now we will get in the, in the gameplay um, soon, let me just explain how this actually works, because we need some background about it. It actually works with Anki. Which is a pretty famous tool for language learning, um, and people use, usually use it for uh, vocabulary or grammar rules, for remembering all of those things, because it uses a system called space repetition, which um, which uses which whose main purpose is to get um, things in your brain in in your long term memory, so that you, so that you actually remember words uh, for a long term. You can go with Without hearing those words, in the next year you will still know them after that year. So that's the main goal of spaced repetition, and that's why many language learning um, enthusiasts use it because it's actually effective. The algorithm is effective, and I was like, okay, how can we integrate this into a game? And then I saw also later. I was like, okay, this is perfect. It's the game is even addicting. Why not give it a go? Why not make it so somehow? Like something that's actually addicting to the point where you cannot stop, or something that's so easily, um, that you, like it's so easy to do that you cannot, you know, you cannot, um, uh, you cannot ignore it, you cannot skip or procrastinate or whatever. And so this is the goal that I'm trying to achieve with this, um, with this game mode, or with many other that will come as the time goes by, uh, that I will create. <clears throat> And so yeah, it communicates to Anki, it fetches the cards, it fetches the vocabulary that you use. You can obviously set all of this up in the settings. You have the URL for the interface to talk to Anki. You have the Anki deck, the deck of the vocabulary that you want to, uh, to fetch data from. And then the field for the foreign word. And then the corresponding field for the English word. So if you go here in this deck that I'm using to prove my point, we have cards. Each of those rows is a card and has fields, right? And it has a foreign field and a translation field. So the word in English, you know, and the word in Japanese because I'm studying Japanese. So, okay. Uh, you set all of this up. You also have uh, input. So, here, left button and right button, okay? Remember, we have left and right button, this will be important in the game. So now, if, if we take a look at this, how it actually works... Um, we have, you, you can see two words appearing at the top, Apple and President of a country. And your goal is, you should know that like words in the foreign language will now be scrolling up from the bottom, and you will have to pick the correct translation. Left, left button uh, will select the the left translation, right button will select the right translation. So for example, say a word will be coming here, um, that's in Japanese Apple, you will have to press the associated left um, binding for, for this, for this card. So you can take a look at this actually. Right? You can see that in some it works, in some it doesn't, because I'm actually pressing the wrong or the right key, okay? You can see that better in a kind of slower um, bitmap. This one, okay. In this case, this will be the correct translation for approach get uh, acquainted. So, if we go here, you can see it's correct. And this one will be swim, but if I pick this one, it will be wrong. You can even see the, the buttons that I'm using. This is the left and this is the right one. So that's, yeah. 
tendency injection inclination candy sweets so. apple again this one will be probably whiskey yeah okay and that's how it goes okay i know i know i'm i had to stress the fact and i'm stressing it once again that this is just a prototype that i'm working on um it's just it was more of a concern that the backend things will work like that it would be slow to fetch cards from Anki and whatever so i just you know i said you know what let's just set up a basic example for the front end for the design of the for the mechanics of the game and whatever and let's focus on actually making the the backend uh, be effective because that was my, my main concern that it would start lagging at some point when it was um when it would start fetching the cards from Anki. Um, because this is a rhythm game and, you know, there's things moving fast and there's things happening all the time. So, yeah, uh, that was the main concern and it's solved pretty much solved. I would consider it pretty much solved, at least for now, because I haven't noticed any lags so far. I even tried to um, go play Ghost with uh, autoplay and it works. It doesn't like anything. The generation of hit objects is perfect, it's flawless. Um, maybe if you go like above 8 or 9 stars, maybe it will. But I I'm not sure because I haven't tried it, so maybe. I, I can't assure you. But for now, all of this works. And again, it will prob it will surely get better as I will progress with the development of this. Um, even if somebody comes and um, contributes to this project somehow or wants to wants to be a part of this project, you're more, more than welcome to. Um, really collecting ideas to make this even better, more addicting or whatever. So if you have an idea, if you have any contributions that you would like to contribute in any way or whatever, you're more than welcome to. Um, if the community gets big enough, I might even consider creating a server, a matrix or a discord server, so that we can talk to each other in a more di direct um, way and exchange ideas. But yeah, until then, it's just me, so <clears throat> hopefully this will reach a certain fame so that, uh, you know, because I would like this project to actually be something useful and addicting and effective. But even if it doesn't work, I guess I, I tried, okay? I tried. I can move to some, some other project with language learning. It's no big deal. It was, at least I learned something, okay? But yeah, that, that was the project. It's also, uh, if you're curious, it's at github. Com, zero x dead beer, uh, gengo. It should be here, right? This is the rule set that you set up. You can you have to follow the getting started for playing it, or if you want to contribute, you should follow this guide to set set up a development environment and whatever. Um, I will probably at some point make a video for both of these guides because I'm not sure how well they are. Um, how straightforward they are so maybe i'll make a, a video just making it super simple and whatever um, but until now um yeah i just want to make this video to actually present this to people and uh see what they think get some uh, criticism to see like where i should improve this uh, or make some or get some suggestions maybe to make it even better or whatever so yeah that, that was it that was it for this video thanks for watching